So I stop at the top and then rotate through. Okay, four count. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's making sure that the head is not lowering and it's making sure that I'm not rotating off the ball, but it's starting to get much closer to what an on golf course swing would look like. Hey guys, um, I actually was just practicing in the bay. It's like 51 degrees and raining outside. Uh, there are just some leaves coming out on the trees, but definitely not a golf day. And as I'm kind of working into the season, there's a couple things I like to work on. And uh, I just kind of realized it might be a good opportunity because I know not everyone gets to play all year round and it doesn't stay sharp all year round. And so for the people that are kind of having to practice inside and maybe are able to hit in a bay if they're lucky, or just, I kind of want to show you what I do to kind of keep my game sharp so that I can kind of start the season properly, hitting the ball well and putting well. There's a couple indoor keys, so I just wanted to share it. All right, guys, so when you haven't played for a little while or you're not playing as much as you're used to, I think the keys that you want to focus on is to make sure that the general fundamentals of your swing are holding up properly. Um, honestly, for me and like what Ben Hogan believes and so, so many golf professionals believe is that your head is really the anchor of the swing. So the biggest thing that I like to cut out is any unnecessary movement, right? You definitely don't want big sways, big rotations. So before I start messing with anything, I make sure to go ahead and throw my stead head on. Um, by the way, I'm not just trying to sell these. I'm, I want to give you uh, like my honest opinion of what I do to get strong, sharper. So the truth is, is if, if you don't want to buy one of these stead heads, you can get a long straw. You can go ahead and get a cigar, or maybe a long tea or a lollipop, something to give you a point of reference so that you can tell whether or not your head's moving. So I use a stead head. I find it easy. You just put it right in front of your eyes, right? And what I'll end up doing is I have two problems, right? I tend to rotate off the ball and then the other thing is I'll lower. So what I like to do is I start off with a drill where I'll stop at the top and then I'll go through, right? I'll show you what it looks like. So I stop at the top and then rotate through, right? Now, what that is doing is that is making sure that not only am I not rotating off the ball, but it also makes sure that I'm not lowering. When you stop at the top, that lowering movement, which usually comes from momentum, goes away. So I think that that's a very, very good thing to start with, right? Just make sure that you are not rotating off the ball, not sliding off the ball, and making sure that you're not lowering. I'm gonna show you it one more time, okay? Stop. Now, once you've done that drill quite a few times indoors, you don't even need to do it with a ball, but you know, eventually you should do it with a ball. The second thing that you wanna do is you wanna move it into your actual fluid golf swing. I like to do it with a four count. So I'll show you literally what I do. This is moving the actual golf swing. Okay, four count. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's making sure that the head is not lowering and it's making sure that I'm not rotating off the ball, but it's starting to get much closer to what an on golf course swing would look like. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay. It's a four count, okay? It can be a quick four count, it doesn't have to be a fair four seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the transition of that exercise. First it's stop, then go, right? And then the second stage of this exercise is a four count. Honestly, I play with a four count. If you wanna get rid of it, it's a good drill to do, and it'll make sure that you're not swaying off the ball, and it'll make sure that you're not lowering. Now I wanna talk about putting. There's some key things that I do, and it'll really start you First of all, hitting it off the center and making sure that you're rolling that ball properly. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, um, the tool that I really want you to get and what you need to get is one of these alignment tools. I think it's really important that it has three bars, but th one thing that can help, and you know, this one's on the internet. I can't even remember where I bought it. You can get it off Amazon. Um, 
but I like that it has this straight line. I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna draw the marks on the ball and then uh, I'll show you exactly how I use it. So now we got our ball, as you can see, all nice and marked up. We got our putter. I'm gonna show you very quickly what I do, but I take two magnets on the putter face and I'll put them on each side of the sweet spot, right? And however good you are is how tight you need to make that sweet spot. And I think mine is about an inch and a half wide. And my, my club and my putter is actually made of stainless steel. So I can just take regular old magnets. You'll see the magnets in this little video that I'm probably overplaying right now. And I clip them to the club face, right? And that's what I use. There's plenty of products that you can find where you stick it to the club face or something like that. But in some way, shape or form, you need to make it so that if you don't hit that sweet spot, you won't hit a normal putt. It'll give you that instant feedback. And that's what we're going for. And then, as a third and final thing that I do, I throw in the stead head because a lot of people will look up when they putt or they'll actually wobble a little bit. I know that sounds surprising, but even with putting, there will be some wobble or some sway. And you just really wanna, you wanna simplify golf as much as possible. You know, boring golf is good golf, simple swing is a good swing, okay? So we go ahead and we clip this to our hat we have the putting clips on, whether it be the stick-ons, mine or the magnets, and then you have the ball marked like this. I'm gonna show you what you do. It's probably pretty self-explanatory. You actually just set up, you make sure your head is not moving, you make sure that you hit it off the center, and then you want this ball perfectly rolling end over end. You can do this in an indoor setting, you can do this before you go to bed, but if you just do 20 or 30 putts just against the wall, you'll make sure that number one, you're rolling it end over end, and number two, you're making sure that you're hitting it solidly every single time. All right, so I got my putter, I've got the clips on my putter face, and we're gonna go ahead, throw the stead head on, and you just set up with the ball. This is my posture, there's many good ways to putt, but I would just keep doing, this is not, a, I'm not teaching you how to fundamentally putt, I'm teaching you good drills to get your game sharp. So use your technique, use whatever you do. This is just a way to learn to hit the ball solid and to hit, have a putting stroke that is repeatable. So whatever your putting stroke is, this will make it more repeatable and it'll make it so that you are able to hold more pots. You want to hit it off the center and you don't want a lot of movement and you want that ball rolling end over end. End over end. And just do that over and over again. You guys don't have to go crazy, maybe just 20 or 30 a day, and you'll find that as soon as you get back out on that golf course, you may not read the greens properly, but your putts will be solid and they'll be online, and very, very shortly, that will lead to more made putts. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it'll help you kind of get into the season. Um, you know, honestly, if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, leave a question. I'm pretty good at answering them. And uh, if you like this, feel free to subscribe. I don't do videos very often. Whenever I just have an idea that I think will help people uh, and it'll be a fun video to make, I go ahead and make it. Um, and so you can kind of check it out. But uh, if you like this one, you might like some of the other ones. So feel free to subscribe.